Hello everybody and welcome to a new video. In this one, I want to show you guys how you can create those amazing guitar beats for Gunna. As you guys already know, I love making those guitar samples from scratch. So in this one, we are going to be making the whole sample from start to finish. And then we will put on some crazy drums at the end. So let's not waste any more time. Let's just jump straight in. All right, so we are now here in FL Studio 21, as you guys can see. The first thing we're going to do is just go over to the BPM and I'm going to lower it to about 125. I believe something in between 120 and 130 is the perfect range if you want to go for those Gunna guitar beats. As for our guitar sound, we will be using this pick nylon guitar in contact. The only thing I'm going to do is go over to the preset section over here, pick this Latin one, and then we're going to do Latin bounce right here. This preset right here is going to give us a little bit more of a realistic texture to the sound. Now that we have opened up the piano roll as well, we just need to pick a scale. So for this one, I think I'm going to go with E minor. Then what you want to do before you start laying down the pattern is to actually go over to this magnet tool and make sure you pick third beat. This is going to give somewhat of a different bounce to our guitar. Now to start off the pattern, we just want to lay down the E minor chord. Now let's extend this out a little bit and we can actually invert this middle note by pitching it up one octave. Then to get that repetitive pattern, all I'm going to do is highlight these top two over here, shift them two times to the side, and then this top one, we're going to do the same exact thing once again. Then we can just shorten these notes and we can actually copy the whole thing over. Now one very important step is that we actually want to link all of these notes together. This is actually very, very important because we want to get that flow from the guitar. Now let's quickly just hit Alt and R to randomize a little bit of that velocity. Yeah, so we're going to have this as our bass pattern. As you guys can hear, it's very, very repetitive, but we are going to do some slight tweaks here and there to kind of switch up the sound a little bit. So to start off with, we could just lower this last G over here, and then we can also lower this second to last G, and we can pick this B up one semitone as well. So we are kind of just messing around with these half steps that are right next to each other. So you can just play around with a few of the notes, just pitch them up one semitone or down one semitone. Now that we have this main pattern, we also want to add some top notes. These top notes are going to help us get some more movement on the sample. And it's also going to help out with differentiating the guitar sample. So let's start off by laying down this C over here. I am going to highlight it, hold Alt on my keyboard and move it slightly to the side. This is again just so these are a little bit off grid. So we have these simple top notes and we're just going to copy them over. But I'm actually going to pitch down this one one semitone so it's a little bit different from the start. You can probably also delete this last part and do some switch ups over here. Once we have everything laid out, we can just copy the whole thing over, pitch it down by five semitones. All right, for the effects on the guitar, I'm just gonna start off with this Valhalla Vintage Verb. I'm just using this spacious vocal preset, but I put the mix down to about 16%. Then we just have a slight bit of delay with Fruity Delay 2. I am also going to add this imager to widen out the guitar sound a little bit. And lastly, we're just gonna put on this EQ to really cut out the low end of the guitar. So now that we have both the pattern and the effects for the guitar laid out, I feel like we should add some sort of vocal in the background. Now we are going to add a lot of EQ to this vocal so it's not too present. We just want to use the vocal as some sort of complementary sound to our guitar. So I really don't want the vocal to work as a counter melody. As I said, it's just going to be something that can enhance the guitar sample in the background. So I did just find this simple vocal phrase from Splice and it sounds like this. First thing we need to do for the vocal is just to make sure that it is in pitch. So we are going to pitch it up by four semitones, so it's in E minor. Then we want to add a lot of reverbs. I'm just using the stock preset in Valhalla Vintage Verb. I did turn the mix to 80% and the decay to 3.3. You can also bump up the low kit a little bit so it's not too much on that low end. Then what you want to do is just open up a 30 parametric EQ2. And then we're just going to right click the presets over here and pick this radio preset. This is super useful if you want to tuck that vocal in the background. Lastly, we are just going to add this free plugin called Pancake. Too. It's literally just going to pan the vocal from left to right. Mm -hmm. 
perfect. Now that we have those two laid down, we really want to add some sort of counter melody to this. As for the sound on the counter melody, I'm just going to open up this flute in contact. And it's this Bansuri flute from Ventus Ethnic Winds. All you want to do for this one before you start laying down the pattern is just to make sure to tune it up by 12. Then you also want to put this vibrato up to something in between 90 and 100. This is seriously going to help you get a more realistic sound on a flute. For the pattern on the counter melody, I'm just going to play around a little bit with the keyboard and see if we can find a nice and catchy pattern. So we can just have a simple pattern like this one. Lastly, I'm just going to add a few textures and that should pretty much be it for the sample. Alright, now that we have this sample finished, let's quickly add some drums. As for all the drum sounds I'm using, they are of course coming from my Euphoria Bundle Kit. So if you guys still haven't checked out the kit, you can obviously go on my website. It is bbmarco.com or you guys can just click the first link down below. So we're going to use this rim as our clap for this one. Want to make sure to turn up the velocity a little bit. Just so it really hits hard. Then we're also gonna go with a hard-hitting hi-hat. Let's just drag in a MIDI from the Euphoria pack. Yeah, I think this one is nice. Pretty simple, but still has a cool bounce. Just adding some more perks. Get that bounce. Alright, we have a lot of snares, rims, and perks on this one, so we want to keep the 808 bounce a little bit more simple. But what I think about doing for this one is keep it pretty simple on the start, and then we can really ramp up with the rolls on the last 8 bars. But firstly, we want to pick a short but hard hitting 808. So I think we can actually go for this radio 808 right here. It seriously just slaps every time. Alright, so I think we can have something like this. Very simple in the start right here. Picks up the pace in the second part though. This is just with the kick layer as well. It's just so it's a bit extra punchy. Alright, now I'm quickly going to arrange the whole beat and then we'll take a final lesson. Alright, so here we have the final beat. A little bit of a low-key intro. Shut up, Marco. Marco. Not really Marco. too much going on. Then it drops right here. So it has a lot of space to flow over. Super typical Ghana type of vibe. We have the flute come in. Main part of the hook right here. Slows a little bit down for the verse. Again, tons of space on this one. Second part of the verse. Extra punchy with that kick. It is in here with the vocal. Bring back the elements for the bridge. Everything is slowed down. No drums. Then it just builds back up to the hook. 